go over to our man, Mr. Fred Ernest. Fred is the president and CEO of Vista Gold. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the American symbol VGZ. Uh, Vista is uh, building one of the uh, biggest, uh, well, they're building shareholder value in one of the Australia's largest and most advanced undeveloped gold projects. I happen to own Vista Gold. Fred Ernest, welcome back to TFNN. Well, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, <laughs> this market, Fred, has been something else, but it looks like uh, that we finally have some relief with the dollar going lower. I mean, it, it just, just, the dollar hasn't just been trashing commodities. The dollar <laughs> seems to be trashing just about everything. So we'll see where that whole thing shakes out. But tell us, uh, you know, you came out with your financial results last night. So tell us where we are with Vista Gold these days. Yeah, Tom. Uh, thanks for thanks for asking. You know, we uh, we announced last night that uh, we ended the second quarter with 11.1 million dollars in cash. We reminded people that uh, we finished and announced results of uh, our exploration program in June, and and one of the key takeaways from that program was that we identified identified four targets that combined we think have the potential to with with future exploration to generate another 1.8 to 3.5 million ounces of resource for the project obviously that extends the life of the project and we and we provided a very brief update on the process that uh, we've engaged uh, CIBC capital markets to manage the process is moving forward and uh, we look forward to uh, sometime later this year being able to make an announcement as to, as to what, uh, what the process has generated. But for the time being, we're satisfied with the work that uh, CIBC is doing and uh, things are moving forward. And there is no doubt with the dollar being so high, this has been uh, probably a tough time to do anything, right? Um, let me ask you this, Fred. You know, we're in Australia, so the bottom line is that what is the correlation between the Australian dollar and the U.S. dollar and the implications to Mount Todd? How does that work? Well, certainly the, the Mount Todd project is, uh, is dependent on foreign exchange rate. You know, when, when, we look at, uh, when we look at the project, we look at the gold price and we look at foreign exchange rate. And those, those are our two biggest factors. Yes. 65, 70 percent of our capital costs will be in, uh, in denominated in Australian dollars. And, and, and about 70% of the operating costs as well. So, so those things are very important to us. Now, you know, recently the, uh, the Aussie dollar has displayed weakness compared to the US dollar, and that's very favorable to the, to the project. Uh, that helps us out a lot. Longer term, we, we expect that the Aussie dollar will strengthen a little bit, but their economy is behaving much the same way our economy is. And so it's, it's a very interesting dynamic to watch. And there's no doubt. Now, when we talk the price of, you know, we, we know that building in mine is very expensive, right? And the price, uh, do you have a figure yet that you may speculate in on what the all-in cost price would be, like per ounce? Uh, is it, were you that far ahead or is that question like too far ahead? No, no. Uh, we, we estimate that our all-in sustaining cost is going to be about $860 an ounce, um, plus or minus a little bit. And so that's, that's an amazing price, right? I mean, that, that's the reality. That, that is a very inexpensive price. I know Newmont, when they just come out with their numbers, uh, the bottom line is that uh, they were at 1128 I think they went up to $1,228 um, you know, for some of their expenses there. Uh, yeah, and, and, certainly, and certainly, Tom, in all fairness, you know, our, our numbers are based on... Uh, numbers at the end of last year, and we're going to be subject to some of the same inflationary increases that the producers are seeing today. But when, you know, our, our 860 was well below the top five major producers at the time we estimated the cost. And so while Newmont's costs have gone up, I expect ours are, have gone up, but we're still below I think we're below the top five. Uh, no doubt. For their average cost. Right. And the, the aspect of, at this point, uh, the CBIC, so we're, we're looking at for CBIC to basically either find a partnership for you, which you've explained to the TFNN audience a few different times, that would come in, uh, get some equity maybe in order to build the whole mine, and or uh, some other type of transaction that would be able to make Vista Gold move forward. Absolutely. You know, we, we have indicated that we are very open minded with regards to what that transaction looks like, whether that's a uh, whether that's a joint venture partnership 
or a transaction at the, at the project level or even the corporate level. That what we're focused on is, is a transaction that creates a value immediately and, and also provides the opportunity for improved value down the road for Vista shareholders. Yeah, and you know it's amazing, folks, okay? This is something that doesn't happen in the gold market. Can you explain a little, and what I, specifically where I'm going with this, Fred, is this, okay? Is that you have uh, 118 million shares outstanding right now. And that is very unusual in the gold market, and specifically what I mean, and I've known you guys a long time. I mean, I, I you know, I, I go back now, I, my God, it's, it's, this time deal, Fred, is something else, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I don't even want to say, I, I, you know, but basically going back 12, 15 years or something. And, you know, it's amazing and it's so cool that you haven't diluted the stock. So can you talk to the audience a little bit about that? Because, you know, a lot of them know because a lot of them are in the commodity market, but it's amazing that you haven't gone that route in the business. You know, it's uh, maintaining a tight capital share structure is one of the keys to the leverage to the gold price that we enjoy. We, uh, you know, we, we were shareholders, just, yes. just like many of your listeners. Uh, and, and we manage the company not as not as a hired management team, but as but as participants and owners. And uh, we run a pretty lean ship. We have a small staff. We all wear a lot of hats. And I'm very proud of the fact that, you know, we've kept our capital share structure pretty tight, you know, that we only have 118 million shares issued and outstanding. Um, when many of our many of our peers have double or triple that number because they've raised a lot of money. You know, we've, we've had the advantage of being able to monetize some non-core assets. Yes. But we, do a, we do a lot to keep our, our, our corporate expenses down. You know, to manage the the project in in a, in a very efficient manager as far as site management expenses, and uh, and you know the the technical studies that that we undertake, I think that we're as efficient or more efficient than almost anybody else in this industry when it comes to, you know, generating technical quality technical reports for the dollar. Well, from experience, I absolutely agree, like 8,000%. And, you know, anyone that's in has been in the market for a while, particularly the gold segment, um, for some reason, and you can see, uh, you know, Mark Bristow from uh, Barrick, he was always hounding on it that they just destroy value. And, and you have not destroyed value for so many years and worked so hard. It's, it's just phenomenal. Well, listen, I appreciate the update. Uh, look forward to having you on again. And folks, it shades on the uh, NYSE and the American symbol VGZ. Check it out. Come to our website. Check it out. And as Fred just said, and I was talking, there's no dilution, okay? It's a mine. It's a huge mine, okay? Do some homework on it, okay? Because the bottom line is that, you know, this is a great crew that has been going forward for a long period of time and has an amazing track record. Fred, thank you so much. You have a great one, safe one, and look forward to having you on again. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. Thanks.